New at six, disturbing allegations from eight young women about a Metro Detroit teacher. They're coming forward with eerily similar stories about being sexually assaulted by a man currently working in the Farmington School District. Seven Action News reporter Simon Chowdhury has more on this story. This teacher is accused of sexual assault or sexual misconduct with students in at least three schools, including right here at Clarenceville High School. We need justice. We will no longer let anyone silence us. We are so strong now. Emily Forrester is the first person to publicly accuse the man who is a current high school teacher in the Farmington Schools District. We are withholding his name because he has not been criminally charged. In a Facebook post last month, Emily came forward accusing the man of grooming her throughout her time in Clarenceville High School in Livonia, starting when she was a freshman in 2014. Seven other women have come forward with similar stories, some as young as 13 when the allegations began. Lawyers representing the former students say the alleged misconduct took place over the past 15 years while the man taught at Clarenceville High School, Clarenceville Middle School, and when he was affiliated with Troy Athens High School. These are just some of the details we can share on air about the allegations. He would find ways to brush up against them with his groin, and to touch them on their inner thighs, their arms, and on their lower backs. Some victims say the man sexually assaulted them in his Berkeley home. We knocked on the door of his last known address, but no one answered. We're told the music and theater arts teacher is 41 years old. He was affiliated with other schools and music programs in Southfield, Romulus, Madison Heights, Bloomfield Hills, and the University of Michigan Summer Academy of Music. The man is currently a Farmington Schools teacher, the district putting out a statement saying he is on paid administrative leave. Emily says at the time she and a friend notified the principal at Clarenceville High School about the teacher's behavior, but she says their cry for help was not taken seriously. I wasn't wrong. I just had a school district that failed me. And now that I have come to learn, has failed many of us. Clarenceville Schools put out a statement saying in part the district, quote, followed its established policies, worked with the appropriate authorities, and sought to respond both compassionately and in a fashion that reflected due process for everyone concerned when the concerns were originally raised and fully investigated. The women will be filing a civil lawsuit. We're told police are investigating, but no charges have been filed so far. The attorneys have this message for the teacher. The truth is coming to light. You cannot hide from it. You cannot run from it. And the lawyers for these women believe there may be more victims out there, and they're asking for them to come forward. In Livonia, I'm Simon Chowdhury for 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Simon. Now, we reached out to Clarenceville, Farmington, and Troy schools about these accusations. Troy says the man was never a teacher in that district, but did participate in at least two productions as an alumnus student. Now, to see the full statements, make sure you go to our website at WXYZ.com.